Hi there, welcome to another Catalyst AutoCAD tip video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to share with you a tip that comes in handy if you have to work with other people's drawings or if you have to work with your own drawings that you did so long ago you have no clue how you did it. <laughs> I have been there. You don't remember the settings, for example, that you might have on your dimensions. You don't know the scale factor, don't know the dimension variables, don't know the style, whatever the situation is. And you need to add in yet one more dimension or two or three. I'm going to show you the lazy, speedy, easy way to do that. All right. It may not be uh, obvious at first, but you're going to love this. This is going to make it real easy on you. Okay. So I need to add just a couple more dimensions to this drawing that I have right here. So. If you have AutoCAD 2010 or before, this is the way you're going to do it. First of all, you're going to put the tool palette on the screen. If you don't remember that, that is, make sure I'm in this viewport and everything, control three. All right. Control three is going to put the tool palette. This is just the default tool palette that comes with AutoCAD. And this is fine. That'll work just fine. I just need to use it for a couple minutes. So I'm going to grab one of the dimensions that has all the settings that I like. I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to drag and drop it right onto the tool palette. All right. And take a look at this. If I hit that arrow, you'll see, look, these are all the different types of dimensioning. I'm not limited to just linear dimensioning. There's all different types of dimensioning that I can do with the exact same settings. Let's try aligned dimensioning. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select this line right here and pull it out. And you'll see it looks exactly like the original dimension, right? Easy, easy, easy. Okay, so those of you who have 2011 or higher, I'm going to show you a slightly easier way of doing that a little bit faster. I'm going to close the tool palette there. So with 2011, a really nice new feature came in. I can do a right click and you'll see that there's an option called add selected. This will also do the job, All right? I'm going to say add selected, which basically means I want to add another dimension that has the exact same settings as the one that I selected. And I'm going to go ahead and just dimension like half of this line right here. And you'll see, look at that. That guy matches as well. Awesome. All right. So. If you have 2011 or higher, this is the way you're going to do it. I think that's the way you should do it. If you have 2010 or below, then you're going to do it with the tool palettes. All right. So you're going to get in and out of those drawings fast, fast, fast. And that's what it's all about. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you back here in a couple of weeks.